On January 14, 2009, Dale Harrow was attacked with a hammer while he slept in his Gilbert, Arizona home, causing multiple skull fractures. He died three weeks later. His wife, Marissa Dubois, had called 911 and reported that Dale had strangled her and tried to sexually assault her before their roommate, Stanley Cook, came and saved her. When police entered the master bedroom, they found Dale naked, face down on the floor, bleeding from the head and thrashing his arms and legs while moaning in pain. None of the details Marissa gave about Stanley matched any of the evidence at the crime scene. She eventually confessed to the murder and stated it was payback for years of physical abuse, even claiming she had been hospitalized numerous times because of Dale. Investigators found no such record of any hospitalization or abuse, and the injuries Marissa had sustained to her face and body were self-inflicted to make it look like she was an abused woman. The prosecution claimed that Marissa had murdered Dale to get an insurance settlement, stating the murder was premeditated. Marissa's defense attorney maintained that the murder was an act of self-defense. Marissa was found guilty of first-degree murder and was sentenced to life in prison with a 25-year minimum before parole eligibility. 